Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine and Tech Help Show, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a power monitoring report. Basically, it's uh, it's built into Windows 7, it allows you to generate a report that shows the current power usage of your machine. You know, what processes are taking up quite a bit of power and which ones aren't, what settings are enabled that shouldn't be, and uh, you actually have to go to the command prompt to do this, and it generates a very thorough report for you. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you got to do is go down to the start button and we're going to type in CMD, which is your command prompt. Press enter and your command prompt will come up. So then what we need to do now is type in P-O-W-E-R-C-F-G and then type in space dash energy and press enter. What it's going to do is trace your computer for 60 seconds and then generate a report. Now I've already generated a report, so I'm going to let it go ahead and do this while I show you how to look at the report. All you got to do is after it, after you have ran the report, it's going to give you a little URL. Um, well, it's going to give you a directory location. You're going to right click and select Mark, and you're going to highlight the directory location, and then you're going to press Enter. That'll actually copy it to your clipboard. Then you're going to bring up your browser, and you're going to open up a new page. You're going to right click and paste. And it'll be something similar to this, users, Craig Chamberlain, energy report .h, and press enter. And this actually brings up the whole report. As you can see, I have some errors here. It's, my power plant is on high performance, which chews up battery life. My sleep timeout is disabled, which chews up battery life. You can go through each one of these and Google them, and then you can actually learn how to resolve those issues. In most cases, you can resolve it by selecting the start button, typing in power, and then you have power options here on your control panel. And it's in this section you can actually go in and optimize your battery life. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and like me on Facebook. Thanks again.